Welcome to Mad Mike Makes and today I'm doing my first video which is a request video and uh, thank you Jessica for requesting this particular video and um, on this point I'd like to just say that comments are very very welcome um, and requests obviously and they make a huge difference to the video's popularity uh, on YouTube so for the search algorithm it really makes a big difference so keep those comments coming they are absolutely fantastic so um, Jessica asked this question uh, you know she said how high does a tank need to be in order to create uh, enough pressure to uh, be adequate for the home I guess now of course there's a, a long and a short answer uh, to this and we are going to get right into it in a bit the short answer first and um, that is and I've had to make some notes here I did do a quick bit of research because I've forgotten you know a fair bit of the sort of maths um, and <clears throat> here's how it pretty much works for every meter that you raise your tank you get 0 0.1 bar worth of pressure which is 1.42 psi which means 10 meters gives you one bar uh, or 14.2 psi. Now that probably won't mean very much to you unless we can put it into terms uh, of what is required in the home. Now I've googled this and I've come up with quite a lot of uh, sort of differences in opinion and um, a lot of people are saying you know sort of somewhere between 30 and 50 but I've narrowed it down between 40 and 50 psi. Now you need uh, to get close to 30 psi you are then going to need 20 meters of drop which is quite significant and you're not going to get that unless you have a property that is fairly large and slopes upwards uh, you know from your property um, so that you can get a decent drop in order to get around between 40 and 50 psi so uh, the answer simple answer to Jessica's question is um, and of course that's sorry uh, if I can just add this very briefly that is between the bottom part of the tank and the highest point uh, that you need the water delivered to so if you're living in a double story house uh, you need to just have a look and see what is the highest point which would then be the shower head I guess in an upstairs shower you then need to take a level line from that and then you'd have to go up uh, I would say 25 to 30 meters in order to get any decent pressure. So Jessica, I hope that answers your question. So on to the second part of the video is what do you need to do if you don't have that sort of situation and well of course the answer is yes you would need to have a pump but not only a pump you would need a pump with a pressure regulator and I to just pop that in there loosely because I didn't have the right sort of fitting. Now um, very simply what this what this pressure regulator does is it tells the pump uh, at you know to, to which pressure it needs to keep the basically the water that's in the pipes in your house. So how it works is like this um, you have a uh, and, and a section where the water goes in and at the back the water goes out and as soon as the pressure drops below what you've set it to there's a little setting panel uh, so let's say you set it to 40 psi because you think that 40 psi is good enough pressure if it isn't obviously you could set it up by a bit to 45 or 50 um, as soon as the pressure drops below a certain uh, a certain pressure the pump will kick in and it will give you extra pressure in the pipes in your home. Okay, so I hope that this has really answered a lot of questions for a lot of people and if it has raised perhaps a few more questions or there's some things that you perhaps didn't understand in the video 
Um, I really welcome you know that uh, feedback or some comments or questions or even suggestions on other videos. So I thank you for watching and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.